I was talking to you upstairs, and you look so good. Oh, you got a... Thank you, you do, girl. <laughs> And you just had a baby. You got a toddler. I remember when you were pregnant. Now, Rennie oh, is a toddler. Look at this. Wow. He is so much bigger than that now. He's um, 20 months, and he's like the size of a two and a half year old. He's so big. It's crazy. Yeah, he's a big boy. When do you get out of saying 20 months? Like, I think when they get two years old, and you say he's two. Yeah, they do that. Yeah, so he's. Yeah, he'll be basically he'll be, one and a half. At one and a half yeah. is when you do it. He's so cute, girl. Thank you. We, we, we think he's cute. We love him. No, he <laughs> is. <laughs> He is so cute. Now, it's so funny because your husband, David Foster, yes. he's got five adult kids, mm -hmm. and they're all girls or women. Like, yeah. now, how excited is he to have a son? Yeah, I, I mean, he's so excited. He, We're both obsessed with him. I mean, you're supposed to be obsessed with your children, right? <laughs> um, but I think that he didn't know how much fun it would be for him to have a boy, and he's really enjoying it. And I, you know, he's drumming all the time, like all over. If he was here right now, he would just start drumming on this little coffee table. Yeah. Um, and that's fun for David, because he said, he just said to me the other day, I just remembered that I used to get in trouble all the time when I was a little boy. I got sent to my room because I would not stop tapping on things. Right. I was driving my parents crazy. <laughs> So um, he we're, he's the we're not sending our son to the to the room for tapping, but um, but yeah, he's just like he got loves that. it. So, yeah, he does. Okay, so I want to ask you this because I know when I had Jeffrey, I was just like nobody touched me. <laughs> I don't feel good. I'm not thinking about that. But you, girl, you had the baby and you were hot as ever. I don't oh know gosh. what is the secret. What is going on here? You and David, but y'all are all over each other. <laughs> What is going on, Mama? You no, know, I don't know. I oh, my legs look really good though. <laughs> I, um, I well, I mean, look, like let's be honest, like post baby immediately, uh -huh. you're no, there's definitely you're just so focused on your giant breasts and right. this amazing new baby. But I think David and I have just been friends for so long before we were and we always had chemistry. We always really liked being around each other. Um that I guess I, we respect each other and uh -huh. that keeps the flame going and ah, I don't know. There you go. Keep it, go keep it going, girl. You keep doing this, you're going to have twins. I'm telling you. I was, I, definitely <laughs> one thing I did not want was twins. So. Yeah, well, keep that PDA okay. up. Yeah, you're going to have twins. <laughs> All of that love. Okay. You know, it's so funny because I would watch you on Mass Singer. I didn't know it was you at first. Mm -hmm. And I was watching Mass Singer and you were banana split. That's yep. what you two were. He banana was, split. He was the banana and I was the split. And you were the split. And I said, now who talks who into doing Oh my gosh. Mass Singer? Neither of us wanted to do this show. The producer kept coming to us and saying like, you know, believe us, it's so much fun. You were on the show too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was He's a penguin. Like, you're yeah. gonna love it. It's so, it's just great. And we just said, we literally said no like five times. And then finally, we're like, we're still in the pandemic. There's nothing going on. Our baby's five months old. Let's right. just do it. It's right here in LA. <laughs> and so we did it. We ended up having so much fun. We were so happy we did it. And um, yeah, we we were it glad. It was a lot of fun to it do. It was so fun. And then, then we got so mad that we didn't win. We were like. <laughs> we, <laughs> We went from not wanting to do it to then being like really pi. <laughs> we didn't we didn't win. So, because both y'all was so good and you were so cute, and I love that you found this like you, during the pandemic you would do things on Instagram because now you're on tour together, you right. and David. Yeah. And this started from Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Remember like the when we were all sort of shut down in our homes for those like those two months, and yeah. so we just started going live on our Instagram. We oh got this audience is so great. <laughs> Um, yeah. And yeah, we just started going live from our account and then we just decided to, we want to be around each other and we want to bring the baby as much as we can. So instead of him doing his separate tour, we just thought for a certain time period, we'll just do it together and it's working out really well and we're enjoying it. I remember when Faith Hill and Tim McGraw went on tour oh, together yeah. with the kids and it just worked out extremely well. We're a little more like a Sunny and Cher kind of guy. <laughs> you know, like, we kind of poke, you know, poke, poke at each other and... Yeah. Um, you know, we, we try to keep it really fun and, and sort of jokey. That is going to be a good tour. Thanks. Absolutely, with you and David. Yes. Now, I, I, I know that you guys, uh, being on tour, you got a Christmas album coming out? Yes, we're releasing it. I'm looking a... forward to this. This right here. It's like, I'm not sure how I 
feel about putting David Foster, 17-time Grammy winner, into a globe, but, you know, <laughs> he was like, no, it's fine, you're the singer, it's fine. But, um, yeah, we, we're, we're, we're dropping an album right after Thanksgiving or Black Friday, and, uh, yes. and you, David has such an amazing history of producing, like, the best Christmas albums, like he does. Michael Buble and Celine and just amazing, amazing albums. So um, I kind of I think actually it was our manager that said, like, you guys should put out a couple songs and then it turned into like a full blown part one this year. We're doing seven songs and the next year we're going to finish the. So you won't, you'll see us back on the circuit. We'll be doing round two of like talking about Christmas. And, um, you know, David just does everything great Christmas. And I decorated tree really great. So that's how we all work together. See, this collaboration is going to be fire. It absolutely is. And now you, I mean, you got so much on your plate. Your mother, you, you're going on tour with David, you just finished Mad Singer, and you got a jewelry line. My biggest, newest endeavor, yes. I Look um, at this jewelry, I love it. Thank you. So, yes, I'm all, I'm wearing, wearing it. So you can follow us on KMF um, Jewelry. Really? And I'm so excited because obviously singing, acting, performing was my first love that I knew that I was really passionate about. But there was this like other passion that I've had. When I was a little girl, I used to take my silver rings into school with my best friend. We would trade rings. I would watch all the jewelry network channels with my mom and would be so like fantasizing about being one of those people up there talking about the jewelry. And, um, and it just, I manifested it basically. Like a, a year and a half ago, I was talking about it in my head all the time. And I got this random email that said somebody wanted to collaborate with me. And a year and a half later, we have this line that we just launched today. So. Congratulations. Um, yeah. And, um, Congratulations. Thank you. A lot, of the, a lot of the pieces are inspired by wanting to simplify it for people. Like, yeah. I love to wear a lot of jewelry. And when I wear layer stuff, people are like, oh, I love the way you layer that. And, but it's so complicated, so hard. And so, like, this is one piece. It's one piece that we're That's trying. That's really, really pretty. Is that two necklaces? It's, or two, it's one necklace. One that necklace. we made it look like two so that... If you just throw one more on, it looks like you're wearing a whole layered situation that, yeah. you know, like, let's be honest, we don't all have time to do that. I love to do it, but I don't expect most people to want to do it. So I'm trying to, my goal is to try and simplify it. Like these little hoop earrings actually go and dangle into one long earring. So you it's can dangle and hoop. Trying to do like dangle and hoop. Yeah. Trying to like just simplify the jewelry game, you know? I like it and I like the rings and everything's Thank very you. simple and you can layer that. So it's yeah. good. This is already Thank good you. what you've manifested. Thank you. Everything is good. Catherine, thank you so much so for great. being here. So great to be here. I'm glad you came. And I just want to say your voice is exquisite. Thank you. I love thank hearing you. you sing. So I'm glad. I'm, I'm looking forward to this Christmas album. Thank you. Catherine's new Christmas songs comes. It's her new album, Christmas Songs, and it comes out on November 25th. And for more info on her new jewelry line, KMF, go to SherryShowTV.com. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's what I wanted versus what I got. Keep it here.